What's up guys, it's me Hunter Gunslinger here back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be discussing some preload dates that are going to be coming to PS4 sooner or later. Now I came across the article, it's called comicbook.com and this article discussed the preload dates for Destiny 2 for, PS4, for PS4 owners only. So far there is no news about the preload date for Xbox owners and PC owners. The article states, if you're looking forward to pick up Destiny 2 in September and you are planning to play it on PS4, the preload date has been revealed to allow players to get the game ready a bit early. The supposed September 3rd preload date for the upcoming game has been seen on the PS4 by navigating to Destiny 2 game page where players will find the new option and has added the mentions that the preload title a couple of days before the September release date. While the preload game doesn't mean that you will be able to get your hands on Destiny 2's gameplay days before players do, you would definitely be ready to try it out right when the game is released. Preload the content will allow players to go ahead and download their purchased copy of the game so that they don't have to worry about many last second downloads and the update that players will be glimmered to receive when the game's released. At this time, there is no word to when Xbox players can expect to have the same preload opportunities that PS4 players are receiving. That doesn't mean that they're not going to go ahead to happen to Microsoft consoles as preload really isn't an extreme impact feature since everyone will get the game when it comes out anyways. But Sony has a bit of luck when receiving some privilege when it comes to Destiny 2. If you want to put it in that sense, when it comes to Destiny content in Bungie itself, PS4 has a lot more privilege than Xbox One. Now it says not long ago it was confirmed that tweet from Destiny 2 director Luke Smith that those players on Xbox One and Xbox One X and PC platforms will be receiving content exclusive to PS4 sometimes in 2008. Now a lot of people were kind of mad when the this week article when it mentions that the Xbox ones and three you know Xbox 360 players would get their exclusive contents of Taking King and Rise of Iron later in October, which makes no sense. By the time the Xbox One and Xbox 360 players come across Destiny 2, Destiny 1's gonna be ass out and dusty. Nobody's not gonna be even in the goddamn tower. So for them to say that you know. Xbox One and Xbox 360 will get their exclusive content of the Taken King. A lot of people were wondering, are you serious right now? We shouldn't have been had that content since early January, if you want to put it in that sense. So I don't understand why, you know, Bungie will tell Xbox owners they would get those exclusive contents of October of this year. By the time September comes around, those players are not going to be playing Destiny 1, The Taken King, Rise of Iron, House of Wolves, or any DLC that you know Bungie released with Destiny over the past year. So that didn't really make any sense why Bungie would even do that. But that's going to be a little bit of discussion later of what people felt about that. But let's just go back to what they're saying. They're saying that there's going to be a preload date for the upcoming game for PS4 owners. That's going to be September 3rd. Now, if you guys kind of notice, a lot of people are upset that you know, PS4 get the more privileged than, you know, Xbox. Yeah, if you want to put it in a sense, if you know, most game companies are going to look at the console that sells more, if you want to put it in that sense. Um, PS4 sell a lot more consoles uh, last holiday season time than the Xbox One S because everybody said there's no point of buying the Xbox One S if the Project Scorpio or, as we know, the Xbox One S was going to come out this year. So a lot of people didn't bought the Xbox One S you know, as quickly as possible, like they bought, you know, the PS4 Slim or the PS4 Pro. So most gaming companies are going to look at the console that sells more and maybe have a more better PR stunt or more be a more better PR to, you know, expand their games or some, some shit in that sense you want to put in that sense. But a lot of people are kind of like discouraged, like PS4, PS4, PS4 always get this, PS4 always get that. Like I said, maybe the gaming companies are looking at the ones that sell the consoles more and the one that has a better PR to, you know, expand their games to commercials, tweeting and all that good stuff and put out videos and all that good stuff. They probably know what that's what they're looking at. For now, all we know is that... Uh, more news that coming in the future from Bungie about Microsoft games preload date. We just have to wait and see what the tweet says. But Destiny 2 will release on September 6th for PS4 and Xbox One. That's all you guys should know. And that the PC version of the game is going to come out October 24th. And a lot of people have some big discussion on why the game is going to get released at you know that time. But if you watch and subscribe to the channel, you will see why I think the reason why that Bungie is going to release. Uh, the PC version of the game on a later date. If you guys kind of notice, a lot of those big gaming companies like Grand Theft Auto and some other gaming companies that delayed their PC version of the game, 
you know, they released a really good damn game. I mean, when you look at GTA and they delayed the game for the PC version, and then when people got their hands on the PC version, they were blown away by the graphics and the scaling of that game. So there's a lot of couple of reasons why Destiny 2 is being delayed for PC on the uh, later months. Um, it's not like it's two months or three months, it's just one month. So I don't understand why people are overreacting. I think it's the date. I think that's what got a lot of people upset. But so far, the preload title for Destiny 2 for PS4, like I said, is going to be September 3rd. And I want to know what you guys initial thoughts about those, you know, exclusive content for PS4. Because like I said in most of my videos, a lot of people are upset that PS4 get the exclusive content. So, you know, a lot of people are discouraged by that. But, you know, the September 3rd, the September 3rd pre uh, preload date sounds pretty fair. It sounds like, you know, yeah, yeah, that's a date that Bungie will put out for PS4. Because like I said, the game's going to get released in September 6th. So there's a lot of key factors why that game's going to get released. So... That's pretty much it about this article. There's not much in details. And another thing you guys are probably wondering in the comment section, will that be affecting for digital content uh, people or the physical copy of Destiny 2? You know, when I read this article, they didn't really mention if it's going to be um, Destiny 2, but it says, in, in the, and I'm quoting from the article, it says, preloading the content will allow players to go ahead and download their purchased copy of the game. So this said, a purchased copy of the game so I don't know if if they purchase the game or somebody I don't know if it's gonna go through the you know when they put in the code for the beta or something like that I don't know how it's gonna work um, but most pre download if you guys are like me who plays games a lot and you know sometimes purchase the games you know digitally that means pre download <laughs> I mean pre download means digital people who bought the game digitally uh, if you bought the game a physical copy of the game, you know, it's going to take time for you. Because if I'm not mistaken, I did make a video on it that the game itself is going to be 64 gigabytes on Xbox One and PC. I mean, on, on PS4. So it's best to buy the game digitally because, you know, you can get that preload and you get that a little bit more quicker than the people who bought it physically. Now the article didn't mention that, but I know some of you guys in the comment section are probably wondering, is it going to go ahead for physical copies or digital copies? But so far they didn't mention anything, but if you're like me, pre, you know, preload means digital owners. So you, you, you can go from that perspective, you can go from that you know whole objective that that's what it means. If you guys have any questions or any details about Destiny 2, feel free to hit me in the comment section down below and start a discussion from there. And how you guys feel about PS4 gaining more exclusive content than Xbox One. Some people feel a little bit, you know, discouraged by that. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you comment, and make sure you share this video to enter your chance of getting your physical copy of Destiny 2 and a later future date. I will announce the winners on September 8th. My name is Hunter Gunslinger. Make sure you stay tuned for my next video where I explain in details why Destiny 2 pushed their release date up to September 6th. There's a lot of key factors in there. And I will see you guys in my next post.